Just to prove that we can do this easily, we want to go to portableapps.com and then you can click on the get apps link, which I already have. And that will bring you up to this humongous list of different software packages that you can use portably, which means that you don't need an administrator to do a proper install. You can just do a sort of a pseudo install, which is just going to unfold things to a folder. And then if you ever want to delete them again, you can just delete them. I'm going to do a search for GIMP and I'm going to click on it. And after I click on it, this green download now comes up. I click to download now. I happen to be using Chrome. So in a second or two right down here, it should pop up that it's um, ready to save. I actually have a folder on my desktop called portable apps. And I find that that just keeps everything simple. You can see I've already got some things in there. And so I'm going to download GIMP portable to my portable apps folder. And then once that's done, I will have a link on my desktop inside here to portable apps, and then I will run it. So now I can see it's finished downloading in Chrome and I can say show in folder and it's going to show in my folder that I have this file and I can just double click on it and run it and the install, this is version 2.8. So the install looks like this. I'm just going to leave it as next, next, next. If I've already put it into a portable apps folder on my desktop, it detects it automatically. If not, you'll have to click browse and put it somewhere that you want. I think having it on the desktop is really great because it just keeps it simple. It's going to go through the install process now. So now that the GIMP portable is finished installing, it shows like this. We can just say run and finish. And it will take a long time to come up. While you're waiting for it to run the first time, which trust me, you'll have a lot of time to wait while it runs that first time. What I highly recommend you do, go into your portable apps. You can do this at the same time while it's loading. Go into GIMP portable folder. This is your actual running program right now. And this GIMP portable should be running right now. What I'm going to do just to quickly demonstrate is if you right click on it and choose send to and then desktop create shortcut, it will create a link on your desktop that's nice and easy to use, looks something like this. And then what you can do is you can just rename this to something easy. If you just click slowly on it one at a time, or you can choose rename, whatever you find easiest. And now you've got your GIMP portable icon ready to go on your desktop as long as you have your portable apps folder that hasn't been deleted yet. So this is just an easy way so that you can find it later on.